Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the WACAC Virtual College Exploration with UW Oshkosh. I'm gonna give it just a minute or two to allow people to come in from the weight room. I'm your facilitator today and happy to um, help out start this session. Okay, with the interest and time in mind, we have a hard stop at 45 minutes. So I wanna make sure that there's plenty of time for the presentation and questions. Uh, again, good afternoon and welcome to the WACAC Virtual College Exploration with UW Oshkosh. I will be your facilitator today and I'll be turning it over just in a few moments to Justin from Oshkosh who will be giving the presentation. I just wanna go through a couple of housekeeping items please do use the Q&A for questions that come up. You can type your questions into um, the Q&A box and Justin will try to answer them as he is available to. Your camera and microphone are shut off, so you cannot see or hear you, so the Q&A box is um, the way to best communicate. Uh, please also sign up for additional sessions at WACAC.com if you have not already done so. And then lastly, there is the session recording will be available at WACAC.com as well. So um, you don't necessarily have to vigorously take notes. Everything will be available online following the session today. So with that, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I will go into dark mode and I'm gonna turn it over to Justin. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. Can everybody see this? Lee, can you see it? Not yet, Justin. Can't see it, huh? Lee, can you see this? Not yet. What are we doing on here? Can you see my screen at all? No, and I made you a co-host to try to, to help out here. Okay, somebody responded they can see. Um, if this person could let me know if they see it here again, that'd be great. I'm sorry about the issue here. Okay, they can see it. All right, well, we're gonna go with it. I apologize for that technical difficulty. Um, my name is Justin Stigler. I'm an assistant director of admissions at UW Oshkosh. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. I know we're all really busy with our schedules. Um, three o'clock students are leaving uh, school, parents, guardians. I know you're trying to take some time out of work to learn about this. So I've got about 35 minutes here to get you educated on UW Oshkosh as quickly as possible. Um, I will try to check the questions as they come in, um, but I will leave time here at the end to go through some of those questions as well. Um, last thing here, please know I'm a big believer there's no dumb question but the one that you don't ask. So as questions come up, please ask because someone else in this room is probably thinking it as well. All right, so here we go. Um, Oshkosh is located in the southern part of the Fox Valley region, which is made up of communities such as Appleton, Kakona, Nina, and Menasha. And as you can see on the map here, um, we're about an hour south of Green Bay, an hour and a half from Madison and Milwaukee. Um, there are roughly 66,000 people that live in the community of Oshkosh on a full-time basis. And then the rest of the year, um, there are the students that are living on campus. 
Um, our university is made up of three campuses. Oshkosh is our main campus, which is also a four-year campus, and then the Fond du Lac and Fox Cities campus are two-year campus or access campuses. Those two campuses are designed for students to start on a smaller campus and then eventually transfer, whether that be to UW Oshkosh or another four-year school. All right, here's some fast facts that we like to share with students. Um, UW, UWO is considered a mid-sized regional university. We have just over 10,000 undergraduate students on campus, so it is a happy medium. Our total enrollment is probably just under 14,000. That would include then our graduate students. Um, average, our average student to professor ratio is 20 to one. Um, please know that at UW Oshkosh, there are no TAs, teacher's assistants, or GAs, graduate assistants that teach. So students, what that means for you is when you are in class and you have questions, you have concerns, you can go directly to your professor and say, I didn't necessarily understand what you just taught me. Can you help me? And they'll say, yeah, come on, let's go to the, uh, the office. Let's sit down and let's go through this formula again. So that's a huge thing for students when they're, they're looking at schools is that happy medium of things. Um, unfortunately, this fall, if you kind of scroll down here, we'll talk about those 80 plus study abroad opportunities. Um, unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there will be no study abroad opportunities uh, this fall semester. Our hope is that everything kind of gets back under control and we will then go um, out in the springtime. Um, then at the very bottom, it talks about a 10 to 15 minute walk across campus. Um, for most students, that's probably a five to 10 minute walk across campus. So students, you don't need necessarily to have a moped to get around campus, you just need your legs and you'll be able to get across campus in, in no time. Um, at this time, I'd like to touch on the university's academic offerings. Uh, the analogy that I like to use with students and families is think of the university as a giant umbrella and then underneath that umbrella, we have five different colleges. So we have the College of Business, the College of Nursing, the College of Education and Human Services, the College of Letters and Science, and then the Honors College. Um, the College of Business, Nursing, Education, Human Services, those are pretty self-explanatory. Those are those uh, majors that students are going to go right into those professions. The College of Letters and Science is everything else that we offer at a major level. And then the last one is the Honors College. Um, so for a lot of students, when you are in high school, you think of honors and AP um, classes. Those are going to be taught. Uh, in, they're harder courses for students. So when you think of an honors college, a college, you think, okay, it's going to be harder. And that's not necessarily the truth. What it is, it's a, a, war, it's a reward for students who have challenged themselves in high school. And what that does is that gives you first priority to register for classes above the seniors. Um, that gets you in classes that are going to be smaller. So for some of our entry level biology and chemistry classes, those classes will get capped at 40 if you're in the honors version of that. And there's a ton of teaching that goes on also outside of the four walls of the classroom. So if you're a student looking uh, to go into an honors college, whether that be UW Oshkosh or other schools, uh, I definitely would encourage you to go and explore that. Um, and also, please know there are over 250 academic programs here on campus. That's majors, that's minors, that's certificate programs, and that can also be emphases. So student involvement, we have over 170 clubs and organizations on our campus. Um, while academics are certainly the most important part when you're looking at a school, again, please know that there's so much more that happens outside of those four walls. Um, that can be clubs, it can be organizations, student government, intramurals, it could be NCA Division Three athletics on our campus. Um, any of the students that are in this virtual room today, I would encourage you to go out and join one of these clubs or organizations once you find that campus for you. Um, what it does is it's going to enhance your time there, and when you come back as an alum, it's going to just increase those memories and say, yeah, I was a part of all this stuff. Um, and it makes you invested in your campus as well. So um, definitely go out and try to see what's out there on that campus that, that you're going to get interested into. As an extension of our clubs and organizations, UW Oshkosh is committed to creating an open and diverse campus community. Um, therefore, we offer an, extent, an extensive, diverse, and dynamic academic support and inclusive excellence programming for greater educational experiences. Um, any of our students that are enrolled on any of our three campuses can join any of these clubs listed here. Um, and again, it's going to only enhance your time at UW Oshkosh.
Uh, we offer a plethora of different opportunities to live on campus. We have 10 different residence halls. We have everything from your traditional uh, two-person resident hall. We have one resident hall that fits three students in a room. And then we also have suite style residence halls that have uh, four people living in an apartment style that has a bathroom, a full kitchen, and all those amenities right there. Um, so there are those 10 different residence halls. Please know that if you're a student that lives within 40 miles of campus, you do not have to live in the residence halls. You can elect to be a commuter student, live at home and save money. Um, but for those students who don't live within those 40 miles of campus, you do have to live in one of our residence halls your first two years. And then once you achieve that junior status, that's something that you can discuss with your family and your guardians, and you can look to move off campus at that time. All right, a major factor for many students when they're looking at selecting a college or university is the cost of tuition. As you can see here in this graph, our annual tuition fees for the year is going to be some of the lowest in the UW system. Our annual tuition fees for this coming fall is $7,692. Our housing, our meal plan, and our Titan dollars is estimated at 7,766. Um, please know that that is a average, um, that is with our basic meal plan and a traditional residence hall room. And then we have books included for approximately $1,000 to get you that estimated final cost of $16,458. So playing off of that then is, well, okay, that's great. That's how much it costs, but how do we reduce the cost? And that's where the FAFSA comes in. For those of you who aren't aware with what the FAFSA is, that stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. So whether you're Bill Gates and you have all the money in the world or you're an average family, we still encourage you to fill that out. That application goes live on October 1st, so pretty soon. As a family, you can go out, fill that out. And for many schools, you're gonna to wanna to get that in sooner rather than later. At UW Oshkosh, our priority deadline to have that in to get the best financial aid package possible will be January 1st, 2021. Whether you're looking at UW Oshkosh, UW Oshkosh Fond du Lac, or UW Oshkosh Fox Cities, our FAFSA code is right there, the 003920. Um, please know that you can apply for scholarships at the university. Uh, to apply for those, you have to apply and be admitted to the university to have access to our scholarships. Um, and you can go out there and you'll find plenty of different opportunities to apply for those. Some of those are going to be based on the majors that you are uh, pursuing. Some are going to be available for students based on where you are graduating high school. Um, some of these are just really fun things that donors had set up. And so go out there and see if you meet those criteria to earn some additional money to reduce the cost of your uh, education. Okay, so how do I apply? Um, now, that you, now that you're a senior in high school, what, what does this whole process look like? Well, um, if you weren't aware, the application is already live now. It went live August 1st and new this year. Students could start applying um, as soon as that was done. So go out there, start applying for school right away. Um, it is a new UW system application and it will only take now students approximately 25 to 30 minutes to complete. Also new this year is the reduction in the application fee. It had historically been $50. Uh, the UW system lowered that down to $25. Please know that that is non-refundable. Another feature this year is students can upload an unofficial transcript to your application at the time of applying. So you can go into a PowerSchool, Naviance, or anything like that. If you have access to an unofficial transcript, you can load it right up in there at that time uh, to complete your application. Also this year, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the UW system is not requiring an ACT or an SAT to be submitted for application. Um, but going back to that last slide, when we talked about uh, the scholarship opportunities, some of our scholarships are still gonna require an ACT or SAT. Um, please know that at UW Oshkosh, we will only use that score if it helps you. Um, for the admissions purposes, we will not use that as a penalty against you. Um, and then the last thing, going back to your high school transcripts, um, for students whose schools went to a pass-fail system in the springtime, please know that we will not, uh, that won't punish you when we look at your transcripts. Um, if you passed it, that's getting the credit and that'll count towards things that we'll discuss in the next slide here, but uh, you will not be penalized for that. Oh, really, one last thing I gotta add here. 
Um, fun fact, we have a donor who donated money this year to pay for some of our applications early on. Um, so they have donated money to run through approximately the end of October. So students, if you have not yet applied to UW Oshkosh, uh, please know that our application is free right now to a, due to a generous donation. Okay, so the first year student app review, what is it that we're looking for and what do we take into consideration when we review applications um, that are coming in? Um, right now, what we're going to be doing right away is going out and we're going to look at your transcripts and we're going to make sure that we count the student's core curriculum. So your core curriculum consists of English, math, science, and social studies. Uh, for UW Oshkosh and the UW system, we require four units of English, three units of math, specifically algebra, geometry, and algebra two, three units of science, and three units of social studies. Um, once we know you have those units and they align with the rigor that we're looking for, then we're going to look at the student's GPA and see where your GPA is at. And please know it's going to be your cumulative GPA. So students, um, oftentimes they think, well, hey, I got a 3.7 in that last semester. That's my GPA. Uh, that is not actually your GPA. We're going to look at the combined GPA. So that is what that cumulative GPA is. And again, students, we're not going to be requiring that ACT or SAT to be submitted this year. Um, that is not, again, it's not required. All right, so after we review those materials, um, we look at the students' involvement throughout their high school time, such as clubs, organizations, employment, athletics. Um, and then we're going to look at your personal essay. Um, please know that, you know, anything that you share in there, we're going to read it. Um, take the time, put some effort into it. Um, for those students that are really on the fence with that GPA and with those test scores, the personal statement is always going to sway in your favor. Um, if you can sit down and share kind of what your story is and what you've been through in high school, uh, we greatly appreciate it. Um, we do not require a letter of recommendation, but students can certainly do that. Make sure that you get a letter of recommendation from someone who can certainly speak to um, all of your achievements and your ability at that college level. So questions. I. Uh, completely zipped through that. Um, let's open this up here. So we had some people who could see this and some who could not. Does anyone have any questions at this time? No questions. Lee, I lost all the chat function. Are you able to see if there's any questions on your side? Yeah, we, we do have a couple here, Justin. Uh, what was the tuition cost again? My computer is completely acting up. I apologize, everyone. Our tuition cost for in-state, just the tuition is 7,692, just for tuition and fees. I'm a prospective music major. Do I have to be accepted to UWO before I can fill out the audition application? Great question. Yes, you need to apply and get admitted first to the university and then work with the music department to or set up that audition. Correct, great question. What classes do you have? <laughs> we have all sorts of things. So again, we have over 250 majors, um, minors, certificate programs, things of that nature. So popular majors are gonna be your business, your nursing, um, it's gonna be education, it could be biology, chemistry, medical technology, geography, history, English, you name it, we've got it. Um, the one thing that has really grown on our campus the last couple of years is engine, engineering technology. Um, that's a program that has over 250 students and it's a, only a four year program right now. Um, so we'll be going into the fifth year with that, but that continues to grow as well. Great questions. How about secondary education degree in mathematics? Mm -hmm. Absolutely have that as well. 
Do you have a strong criminal justice major? We do. Fun facts about the criminal justice major. So for students looking to major in criminal justice, what we typically will have you do is pick up a minor. And for a lot of students, that's going to be in psychology or sociology or something that you're going to be really taking a lot of other classes to get you a minor in that. And then what you do is as you progress through the criminal justice program, you're going to do an internship. And that can be something as early as your sophomore year working for our university police in a share walk or a safety walk program um, to see if that's something that you're interested in. Then it progresses to working closely with the university police or the city police of Oshkosh or the Winnebago County Sheriff to doing ride along programs um, to really just going out and going further along. We've got students that have graduated and gone on to join the FBI. Um, students that have gone on to the CIA work for the state in some different capacities. So certainly something that can be achieved in a very popular major. I'm interested in health, fitness, and nutrition. Do you have majors for that? We don't have nutrition. Um, we do have exercise science. Do you have any classes relating to media assessment, analysis, or something like that? At this time, I don't believe we have any of those. That is what we had in our queue currently, so please feel free to continue to ask questions. I'm happy to relay them over to Justin. How are the sports teams? Our sports teams are very good. We compete in the WIAC. Uh, we're Division Three, which means there are no scholarships. Um, but I would say over the last probably eight years or so, um, our athletic teams have been incredibly competitive. The men's basketball team won the national championship, I believe, two seasons ago. Uh, our football program competed in the national championship about four years ago. Um, baseball was just one game short of making it to the College World Series, so they're, they're pretty competitive. Cross country, men and women's has always been competitive. Women's basketball has made the NCAA tournament, I think, the last five or six seasons. So uh, very competitive programs for students who are passionate about athletics but maybe don't want to compete at that Division three level. Uh, because of that commitment, we do have a pretty uh, competitive intramural program um, that between you know basketball, flag football, um, there's floor hockey. So there's plenty of different things that you can get involved in. When do I apply for scholarships? Does that also happen only after I'm accepted? Great question. So yes, you have to apply to the university to get access to those scholarships. Um, just went here, if you go to the uwosh.edu backslash go backslash go scholarships, that should take you to that link. Um, you apply to the university, you get admitted, and then I believe it is actually tomorrow or Monday, the scholarships will go live for prospective um, freshmen. So those fall 21 freshmen, you can go out there and you can start applying for scholarships. Many of those have different due dates. What we're gonna try to do is award most of those by early February. So that way students will know kind of what their financial aid package looks like and also know whether or not they earned any scholarships from the university. So um, apply, get admitted, and then take the rest of the fall and early part of winter to start applying for those. Great question so far. Much better than the technology that I can do over here. We've got about, I think, eight minutes left. Any other questions? What are some courses where you write essays? What are some courses where you learn to write essays? Was that the question? Yes, where, where you write essays. Where you write essays. Those will typically be your early, what we have at UW Oshkosh is called WIBIS, um, and they just changed that, but it's a writing-based um, freshman seminar class and you take that either in the fall or spring semester of your freshman year and you really work on honing in your English and your writing abilities. 
Um, for students who maybe aren't a strong writer, we have a writing resource center for students. Um, so you can take a paper in um, to one of these writing tutors and give it to them. Now they're not gonna write your paper for you, but they're gonna help you through that. So um, if you get a little anxious about seeing red pen on a paper, you'll have to get over that, but they'll work with you. Um, they'll kind of circle like, hey, this is an incomplete thought or um, potentially you didn't cite this source correctly. This is the proper way to cite it. Um, so you can really, you know, again, your freshman year hone it in the class or you can go out and you can get some of the help in the writing center. Uh, but those are two different ways that students can improve their writing early on. And then as you grow, and if writing is still something that you're passionate about, we do have a writing major. What is the latest date I can apply? Great question. We are on rolling, admission, rolling admissions, which means we don't have a hard deadline. Um, but really, we encourage students to apply sooner rather than later. Um, the sooner that you apply and get admitted to the university, you have access to those scholarships. And then you have the ability to register for what is called the Titan Takeoff. So that's your freshman registration day. And that goes based on the way that you deposited your money to the university. Um, so you go then in the springtime and you'll start registering for classes. So again, we're on rolling admission. So you could theoretically wait till this time next year. Uh, don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your family. Don't do that to Lee or me. Um, but you could theoretically do that. Are you able to start applying as a junior? Good question. You have to wait until the summer before you go into your senior year. Any last minute questions? These have been really good. Coming up to our deadline here. Do we have any last minute questions for Justin? Otherwise, I have a few closing items that's housekeeping items that I'll wrap up. Oh, uh, here, here you go, Justin. Are you guys doing in person visits? Yes, we are. Um, if you go out to our website, you can click on the admissions page, there's a visit link. We are doing fall visits. We'll do two tours a day, we'll do a morning and an afternoon. That is limited to 10 guests. So students, you will only be limited to bring one guest with you. Um, with some exceptions, we can allow three. Um, but we will have fall tours and we are gonna do, I believe it is seven um, select Saturdays throughout the fall, um, which will be increased to a larger population um, within you know, restrictions, but we'll have larger groups on Saturday. Am I able to see the pre presentation for myself? This presentation or the virtual ones? I believe it's this presentation. Yes, there will be a recording of this. I wish we could edit out the technology faux pas. <laughs> uh, but yes, there will be a link that gets sent out, I believe, later that gives you the recording of this. I forgot. What are all the ways you can get admitted or get into the college? So we'll go back to that one. So apply to the university through the UW system application. It's a $25 application fee, um, which is being waived right now due to a donor. Then you have the high school transcripts that you have to upload. Unofficial is fine right now. We'll need official after you're admitted to the university. Um, and that's where you decide to go in the springtime. Again, ACT or SAT are completely optional this year.
All right. Any other last minute? Oh, here we got another one. Oh, it's a thank you for your time. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do is just uh, share my screen for one more second here. And again, thank you for joining Justin and joining the WACAC Virtual College Exploration. When we close out today, there's gonna to be a really quick survey of four questions. So we'd appreciate it if you would fill that out. Um, there are still a few more sessions available for this afternoon. And as we had mentioned, the recording will be available at WACAC.com as well. So thank you again for your time this afternoon. Uh, Justin and I both appreciate it and enjoy the rest of your day.